guys, so I'm going to do my August Owl Crate unboxing. This is the Owl Crate here. Um, my son did get his Owl Crate Junior box a few days ago, but he was really impatient and did not want to record it this time, so no recording for that. Um, this month it is pretty heavy, actually. I think there's more than one book in here, so it's quite heavy. Um, Alright, so the Owl Crate theme for this month was Something Wicked This Way Comes, which sounds like a good theme to me. There's a little pen of like a owl or what is it a raven flying in front of a moon there's a pin in every every box here these are kind of funny there is a out of print polka dot socks Edgar Allan Poe socks which is kind of funny I will probably wear these because that's kind of cute there's always like a ton of like stuff I'm gonna like throw this over and box over there there's a Dark Arts Roast Coffee Sampler, which I don't drink coffee, so I will not be using this. But it looks like it's supposed to have an almond orange chocolate flavor or something to it. So, okay, coffee. Oh, you put coffee. There's a bookmark in here. No mourners, no funerals. Among them, it passed for good luck. It's got some Six of Crows from Le Verdugo. Quotes. On the other side, it says, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. So it's nice. Bookmarks are awesome. I use them a ton and lose them a ton. There is a pen that says, I... This is hard to see because of the glare of the bag. Let me get it out of the bag. It's a little pen that says, I chose this. I don't know how to show you this and still hold on to it. Focus on it. There we go. I chose this. I don't know what that's from, so pardon my uh, <laughs> non-knowledge here. We are made light, the darkest axe. It's like a decal thing. And again, showing my ignorance, I have no idea what that's from. So if you do, comment below. Um, I maybe I do know and I don't remember or something. I don't. I do know they said there was going to be a couple bonus books. So this is a. Oh, it's a. Uh, Sleepy Hollow and other short stories by Washington Irving. So it's a copy of Sleepy Hollow, which I actually have read almost all of Washington Irving's books. But, you know, maybe there's something in here, or short stories, I should say, not books, novellas. Um, maybe there's something here I haven't read. We'll have to see. It's a nice book. It's got a nice, like, matte finish to it. And I do love the story of Sleepy Hollow, so that's awesome. And then, oh, what is this? A splendid pen. Oh, this is cool. It's a fountain pen that comes with three refillable cartridges. I had like a period in my life when I was in high school where I was obsessed with fountain fountain pens and I had like all the little pots of ink and all the fountain pens and I was just obsessed with them. I wrote everything with fountain pens, which basically made a huge mess, but I thought I was so cool. Um, so this is nice that it's like a kind of a normal pen, but it's got like a fountain pen thing. I could like bring that to work and take notes and be weird. All right, so this is the book. This is the part that we all get excited about. Well, I get excited about. Oh, apparently the I chose this pen goes with this book. So the book is uh, The Hearts We Sold. Um, but what is this about? Should we read what it's about? I have no idea. I haven't heard of this book. Dee Marino is out of options. Her home life sucks, to put it mildly, and she's about to get booted from her boarding school, the only place she's ever felt free for lack of funds. But this is a world where demons exist and the demons are there to make deals, one human body part in exchange for one wish come true. The demon who Dee approaches doesn't trade in the usual arms and legs, however. He's only interested in her heart. And what comes after Dee makes her deal is a nightmare far bigger, far more monstrous than anything she ever could have imagined. Reality is turned on its head and Dee has only her fellow heartless, the charming but secretive James Lancer, to keep her grounded. As something like love grows between them amid an otherworldly deal, ordeal, Dee begins to wonder, can she give James her heart when it's no longer hers to give? In the hearts we sow, demons can be outwitted, hearts can be reclaimed, monsters can be fought, and love is not impossible. Sounds like an interesting book. I like books about demons. There's, a, again, a signed book plate that you can put in there that has the author's signature. And there is a letter from the author. So, I, <coughs> excuse me, I've always enjoyed like demon young adult books so I will probably like that one um and that's what this pen is for I was so confused um it's from that 
So maybe the decals from that too. I don't know. Um, so that was a pretty good haul. I, I continue to be very impressed with the Owl Crate boxes. Um, I know I said they were kind of expensive in my last post, and then I corrected underneath. I was a little bit wrong. They're about $24 a box, which if you think about it, you're getting a hardcover book, sometimes more than one book, and some cool stuff. So I think it's kind of worth it. And a lot of times they have exclusive covers that are, you know, only for Owl Crate or whatever. So I got this book along with the signed book plate and this little pen. And then um, I got Sleepy Hollow and Other Stories by Washington Irving, and that's kind of cool. And then I got a bookmark, and I got a decal, and Edgar Allan Poe socks, which is actually kind of neat, I've got to admit. And then I got this fountain pen thing where you can put cartridges in, and it's a fountain pen. And coffee, which, as I said, I will not use. I don't know why you put coffee. I know a lot of people who don't drink coffee, and a lot of people do. But I'll give it to one of my friends who likes coffee, I guess. Um, so that's what I got. I would say, again, another very successful outcrate. I'm going to dig in the box here and see. Ooh. So the theme of September is going to be mythical creatures, which is kind of, I think, outcrate junior last month was magical creatures. Outcrate junior this month was into the woods, and my son did get some very cool stuff. Um, but again, as I said, he's very impatient, and he opened it and went through everything very quickly. So... Let's see. It says, in your September box, you'll receive an exclusive book sleeve from a book boy. So that's cool. Book sleeves are nice. All right. That is what I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know I did not do a book haul video this week, but I plan on doing one later. Um, my son was banging on the door behind me a while ago because he wants to let everybody know he got his black belt. So <laughs> I said, well, I don't know. Like the people who follow me on my book um, haul videos like I talk a little bit more about my family life so they might care but for the subscription box ones I don't know if they care but he did get his black belt last night after working out for six years and so he's very very excited about that um, he wanted to come and tell everybody and at the time I was getting a little annoyed that he was like thumping the door around behind me so I told him to go away so next time I do a book haul video I'll have him come in and talk about it um it might be a little bit till I do a book haul video though because we are going to be out of town the next few weekends we're going to be in what are we doing? We're going to camping at a resort next weekend, and then we're going to be out in Chicago, and so lots of stuff going on. Um, all right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.